everyone in this video we are going to learn how we can configure the DSCP server so I am taking here some devices you can see I am taking three PCs here or four PC and I am using here one server so we will say this is a DSCP server and all the machines are in the VLAN one later we are going to do the VLAN 1020 lab also so imagine this is a switch one I have here and this one I can say this is a DSCP server and this server is having the IP 192.168.1.1 and let me connect the connection let me do the cabling here we can connect all the computer so here if you see this server is connected now we need to do the configuration so in this server I will go inside and then I will assign the IP address here to this server I will write here 192.168.1.1 give the subnet mask and gateway we can give like whatever gateway you want to give example if you want to give 1.2 and DNS you can give the same server IP we later we will configure the DNS in this server only after that go to services then click the DSCP and here power on the DSCP and this is a default setting like here gateway you have so whatever gateway you are planning to give put that one example we told we will give gateway as 192.168.1.1 DNS we told this server only so you can write DNS IP here and this is a IP range like DSCP server will start giving the IP from this range so you can write here start from this 192.168.1.10 and this will be the subnet mass and maximum he can give for this user you can say maximum this, this DSCP server can give up to 100 user and we are not using the TFTP or FTP server we are not using WLC controller so just you can click save okay so this way our DSCP server is configured now you can test you can go here and go to this computer click the desktop click here the DSCP and check here you are getting the IP from the DSCP server this way you will configure DSCP server this is simple only just you go to the services and click DSCP by default it is already present the setting just you power on and whatever the gateway you want to give whatever the DNS you want to give and from which range you want to start the IP you will give that setting and click save after that if you go to any computer here you can check you are getting the output okay go here and click here and check you are getting the IP so your DSCP server is working perfectly okay DSCP server is working perfectly now what I will do imagine I have some wireless device here let me take this access point this is the access point I will use this I will connect to the switch we can say access point is used to convert the wire signal into wireless signal okay so this is our access point you can give any name whatever you want to give AP example and you can take the wireless devices like you have the tablet you can put your tablet here okay you can put tablets your machines are getting connected with the Wi-Fi signal RF signal we have our devices are connected here and here if you see it is connected and we can go here inside and we can see here what IP we will get see our machines also getting the IP this wireless device also getting the IP from our DSCP server you can go here and you can click starting and DSCP and check your wireless device whatever the tablet or iPad you are using they are also getting the IP from the DSCP server see here so this is a wireless network we have in this area so wherever we want we can set up the access point and connect to the switch automatically access point will start working and here if you go in the access point inside you can go to configuration and port 1 you can see here SSID SSID is nothing but the access point username that uh, Wi-Fi name 
like whatever the Wi-Fi name is uh, you want to give by default you have default here and you don't have any password in this tablet also if you go to the wireless zero you can see there is a SSID by default you have default that's why and without password that's why this device connected to this SSID if I go to this SSID and I change the Wi-Fi name is ABC an example if I put the password here like one two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay I put this and I close so all the devices are disconnected all the devices are disconnected with the access point because I change the password and also I change the Wi-Fi name that is SSID so then you need to go to the device and click the this wireless zero and put the connect the Wi-Fi name whatever we give here ABC and put your password here we give password I think one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and then close and wait for some time it is not taking where I set up the password let's see here because what I set up I did not remember okay here WPA2 PSK so here also you need to do the same thing go to wireless 0 WPA this one I set up the password so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 okay and now let's see this machine can connect to this access point or not now it is connected why it is connected because we give the correct password and you can see they have the IP also you can see the correct SSID we give that is a Wi-Fi name correct Wi-Fi name we give and we give the password here that's why it is connected and you can check here go here and check the IP address you get the correct IP also from the DSCP server and here also you can go to this access point and go here and go to SSID wireless zero and put the SSID connect SSID ABC and put here the password I am using one two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay and wait for some time this will connect to that SSID see it is connected now you can do for this tablet also go to this tablet configuration wireless zero and put here ABC then here and here put the password one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and wait for some time this will connect in this area the Wi-Fi signal is there and it is connected now if you want to increase you can take one more access point here you can put in this side okay and you can connect this way <coughs> and you can give here AP2 name you can give here AP2 this one we can say this is a AP1 okay and whatever the devices you have here wireless devices you can see smartphone you have and you have the tablet whatever you have you can put here automatically it will connect because you don't have any what we can say you don't have any password here because here default whatever default you have we put that one so automatically it will connect and you can connect with your laptop also this one you can see here power of the laptop remove this uh, card and you can connect the antenna here and power on the laptop so you see this laptop will connect here why they are connecting with this one means because here if you see go to configuration wireless zero here is you have default and password is disabled same thing here in the access point if you go configuration port one port one you can see SSID that is a Wi-Fi name is default and it is disabled what it is disabled the password so if I put here XYZ and if I give any password let me give password 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 now you can see all the devices disconnected here if I want to connect again I need to go here I need to go to desktop config wireless zero I need to put XYZ for this Wi-Fi access point 2 and click here and give the password here you can write 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and wait for some time it will connect so it is connected same thing you need to do here repeat here go here configuration wireless 0 put XYZ and password we give here 
वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन टेन ओके लेट मी डू फॉर अदर थिंग ऑल्सो गो हियर गो हियर एंड वी विल पुट हियर ओके लॉट ऑफ मैसेजेस सेंडिंग मेनी गाइज दैट इज अ प्रॉब्लम ओके एनी हाउ लेट मी कंटिन्यू नाउ वॉट वी विल से वॉट आई डन हियर I put access point everything here. Let me see. Yeah, this one I put. Let's go for this tablet. I will go here configuration X Y Z. Put the password here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten. Okay. You need to do same thing here or keep the default one. If you keep the default one, automatically it will connect. X Y Z. and here you can put password we give 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 any confusion any doubts here no doubts right this is simple just you need to go here and change the ssid that is wifi name and here you can put whatever the password you want to give example i am giving here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 that's all and you will get the ip you can go here inside and check here you get 1.23 and this device let's see what is the ip this device get 1.25 so this guy can talk to that guy you can click here and ping one first let's see what is the ip i have i will write ip config so if i write ip config because i am using the wireless network so you can see i am using this wireless so wireless 0 i get this ip 192.168.1.2 Okay, and here what we have the this device is having the IP. Let's check what is IP here. One dot eighteen. Okay, so here I can ping. I will write here ping one ninety two dot one sixty eight dot one dot eighteen, and see replies coming. So our our network is working perfectly. This one is a mix of this is a wire and wireless network. We can say this is a wire and wireless network. wherever you don't have the network or wherever you have difficulty to install the lan cable everything and here uh, if you see this computer also before it is working but now it is not working so you need to go here in the wireless zero and give the new name xyz and put the password then this computer will connect 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 whatever password you want to give give that one and then after some time this will connect here see it is connected and this machine also get the ip dns he get and he get the ip 1.17 you can see here so what we can say wherever you don't have the network you can install the access point and connect one cable so this area will cover here rf signal will cover here and this area will connect cover by this access point so in simple we can say access point is used to convert the wire signal into wireless signal and we can say this area we have wireless signal and here the wide signal here is the wireless signal okay so this one is a small lab for dscp plus axis point okay that is wireless signal how we can uh, connect the wireless devices in this lab we learn if you face difficulty write in the comments we are going to help you and if you need this lab join our telegram channel i am sharing this lab in the telegram channel thank you bye